Good evening. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I show you a forwarder named William from the channel The Audit Strikes Back. This video is part 2 of the fake injury saga. The link to part 1 is in the description. This video starts right after the fake injury and temper tantrum when the police show up and then continues with his follow-up videos towards his goal of filing a fake lawsuit here in the Frederator Zone. Hey, get your hands off me! Ow! Get your hands off me! Get back! Get back! Get back! Flopping yourself on the floor isn't going to help your case any. You can take photos as long as you want. We're asking you to leave. Pick your stuff up. There's a stairway. Ow! This person just... Hey! Oh. Come on, LT. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? We try to get this gentleman <sighs> to leave. He refuses to leave. <sighs> Oh no, I'm gonna get this footage. This man put his knee in my back and threw me. This man threw me to the ground. Let's go, bud. Hey, I'm a journalist. I'm gathering content for okay. a story. I've already been to several government buildings today. You want to tell me all about it outside? I, um, am I being told to leave under threat of arrest? Yes. I'm being told to leave this public building yep. under threat of they arrest. Want you to leave. I don't want to get arrested, so I will leave under threat of arrest, even okay. though I'm a journalist exercising a constitutionally Perfect. protected Thank activity. You, sir. What's your name and badge number? Cody Willis. Cody Willis. Badge 5 number? 0099. 5099. Yep. Threatening to arrest me if I don't leave a public building. Okay. Are you coming with me? Yeah, I'm going to lock you up. All right. In case you didn't see the first part of my video, he claimed that he had a broken shoulder from being pushed to the floor. He also claimed to have been kneed in the back while on the floor. Although you can't see him walking down the stairs, does it sound like someone walking down the stairs with a broken shoulder to you? Hey, uh, I need to file uh, uh, assault charges on those two guys. My shoulder is injured. I requested medical. Where's medical? What's that? I requested medical. Those guys threw yeah, me to the gr those guys threw me to the ground and pinned me to the ground. Notice how he's now included both security guards as having thrown him to the ground. Let's take a look once more at the video of his alleged assault. Pay close attention to where the second security guard is at all times. Hey, get your hands off me! Ow! Get your hands off me! Get back! Get back! Get back! Flopping yourself on the floor isn't going to help your case any. You can take photos as long as you want. We're asking you to leave. Pick your stuff up. There's a stairway. Ow! After the girly scream, the video then faded to this. It seems there's something missing in between the girly scream and the next shot of the second security guard standing there fixing his ID tag, as well as a very obvious fade to black transition in between the two. They're not allowed to do that. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I have a First Amendment right to be here. Okay. Okay. I understand your concern, buddy. They wanted you out of here because... But they're not allowed to do that. They are allowed. No, they're not. It's a public building. Okay. You can't trespass somebody from a public building unless a crime has been committed. Okay. How is it that this building doesn't know that, but all of the other buildings that I visited today do? What's your do? name, sir? I don't have to give you my name. Okay. Well, if you wanted a police report... I can just go down... To be a victim. All I have to do is go down to the magistrate's office and show them the video. I don't have to file a report. Okay, if that's what you want to do. Well, it is what I'm going to do. They're going okay. to be held accountable for their assault today. Okay, sounds good, sir. Uh, do you not care about my assault? I just wanted your name. How can you be a victim if I don't know your name? You don't... People can be victims. There are victims all nope. over this world nope. that you don't know the name of. Nope. Yeah. If you don't want to give me your name, sir, I can't. I don't know how to file a charge or anything with you as a victim. Did you, did you investigate my claims? Did you look at the security footage? I haven't had time to. Are you going to? I'm gonna go back in there as soon as you leave the property. This is public and if, property. If you're refusing this is to public give me your property. information, this is public property. Okay. 
Are you refusing to give me your information? I'm not, I don't have to ID myself, do you? Okay. It's highly suspicious to me that William cares more about not giving his name than making a police report about someone that allegedly just broke his shoulder. It also seems suspicious that he doesn't act like a person in pain, nor does the officer seem to think he's in pain either. Cool. Well, if, if you don't want to do that, then I'm not going to make you a police report with you as a victim. Okay. So, can't you just put good citizen? No, that's not how it works. It, I have to file a complaint through the Polk County Attorney's Office, mm -hmm. and then you'd have to testify mm -hmm. as to what happened in there. Yeah. Because you would want to be the victim mm -hmm. in that report. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, go to the magistrate's office, and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to file a complaint on you. Since you're not taking my assault seriously, um, okay. I'm going to go down to the police department That's and I'm cool. going to I'm going to get a, I'm going to put a Freedom of Information Act request on the security cameras for this. What's the CAD number for this call? The CAD number? Mm -hmm. Are you going to write it down, or you want me to write it down for It'll you? It'll be on camera if you could just verbalize it. That okay. would be great. Two forty, Adam. Forty, Adam. Can I get the trip number, please? He's in Tom. Zero zero seven one eight five one. Copy, thanks. There you got it, sir. All right. All right. Um, you're a tyrant. You should be ashamed of yourself. Right. Thanks, Point appreciate it. Yep. And I'll be back tomorrow to get okay. more video. Okay. Obviously, because I wasn't trespassed. Obviously, because I didn't commit a crime. Obviously, because you're a tyrant. This is a public video uh, building. Yep. You can't trust some pass somebody from a yep. public building unless they've committed a crime. But everybody that did that today is going to be on YouTube. I'm going to make sure y'all are held accountable. I'm going to make sure that the public knows that you're corrupt and that you're a tyrant. And woo you're a piggy. The video ended there, and the next day, in another video, he goes back to request the security footage of the alleged assault in which he described his alleged injuries. All right, guys, here we are at the Polk County building again. We're going to go in here and do our Freedom of Information Act request to get the open record of our assault from yesterday. We're going to enter right here in front of security and see if they treat us with a little bit more respect this time. Hi guys. Hi, I need to place an open records request. I was assaulted in this building yesterday and I need the security footage. Can you please help me? Um, you know, I'm not sure how to, how to do that here. But okay. We can get it figured out. Okay. Yeah, I was on the phone um, with them. I already went down to the Polk County Sheriff's sure. Department because um, that's where the website said to get the record. Okay. Um, he looked it up and said that I actually had to come here. Okay. So I contacted the Polk County Government Administrative Building let them know that I was coming so that they wouldn't make the same mistake as yesterday, okay. peacefully exercising my First Amendment right to record in public and publicly accessible areas. Understood. That gentleman and his cohort yesterday threw me to the ground, shoved a knee in my back, okay, dislocated my shoulder and fractured my humerus. Okay. So I need the uh, footage of that. I would just like to peacefully go make that request. I understand. Okay. And uh, I'll wait here while you figure again, out. Again, I don't know how to do that. So yeah. Okay. I will uh, go find out. Okay? Yeah. Cause I don't want to talk to him. Oh, that, okay. Yeah. No. Thanks. If you guys just, you know, appreciate you. Be civil about it. Oh, I am. I, 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 I was yesterday. And I'll, I'll find out how we can do that. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, the website for this building has a link at the bottom and it says photography. When you click on it, it invites amateur and professional photographers to come around and photograph and submit them. I was, I was here on, on invitation. Okay. I'm not, I'm not here to argue. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I just, I'm actually saying that loud enough for that gentleman to hear. He should probably look at the website if, if, if he knows how. All right. This actually made me laugh. Here is what he's talking about. It clearly means to submit your amateur photographs that you have taken already. It does not invite anyone to go down there and film the stupid clock on the wall. When I think our forwarder couldn't possibly get any dumber, they always manage to prove me wrong. Wow. 
See, the request can be made electronically online. It can be written down and filed by mail, or it can be made in person. And as a, as a, as a, as a U.S. citizen, and because of the FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, I have the right to request that in person. It has, it, it, and it's, it gets processed within an hour and just doesn't get released until I pay the 35, but I brought my debit card. We're working on it. Okay. He's going to talk to the guy that's yes, sir. in charge of that stuff. I'm not, I'm not upset with you, sir. I'm not upset with you. I, I'm upset with the black gentleman that was working yesterday that put his knee in my back and George Floyded me. Okay. What did he just say? Did he really just say the security guard George Floyded him? I'm not going to play it back. I don't want to hear it again. But this is a new low even for a frauditor to have the audacity to compare what happened to him and what happened to George Floyd when George Floyd was held to the ground by a knee at his neck that killed him. I can't comment on this anymore. It's too absurd and upsetting to even think about this ridiculous bullshit further. Sorry. You know. You know, the website invites us to come down here and photograph and then and, and, and then and then you get slammed to the ground and a knee shoved in your back when you do. So as you saw in the security guard, which obviously you guys are not on good terms, but he's the one that went upstairs to go talk to the guy that's okay. in charge. Of yeah. Um, yeah. And, and I, the uh, Polk County also told me risk management is going to be contacting me. I guess that's their their they, legal they all injuries and their their legal injuries. stuff. Yeah. Yep. And see, um, after I leave here, I have to go down to the Des Moines Police Department. The responding officer didn't investigate at all. He just ordered me out of the building under threat of arrest, which was another violation of my constitutional rights. Why is he lying when he is the one that filmed it? The officer tried to take a report from him. But this douche can you refuse to give his name? In addition, the officer said he was going back in to investigate after the douche canoe left. The only good thing about this stupidity is that the douche canoe is actually creating a further case against himself if he tries to sue or press charges with the magistrate. Um, and uh, because it's, you know, you have the, the Supreme Court has already ruled that filming in public is, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um. He, he ordered me out of the building under threat of arrest. And if a police officer does that, they, they lose their qualified immunity and they open themselves up to civil rights litigation, especially once you've explained to them that what you're doing is a constitutionally protected activity and requested a supervisor. He refused to talk to somebody smarter than him and wound up you know, opening the city up to civil litigation. The security guards here opened the county up to litigation and the lady in the treasurer's office that made it all happen opened up the state to litigation, you know? And I, I, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to come down here and take some pictures and be on my merry way. And I was actually, I was actually able to do that in every office except for the last one that I visited. Every other place that I walked through and photographed the brochures, the walls, um, the chairs to see how comfortable things were and so on and so forth. Um, and especially the walls for uh, decoration or lack thereof that I could submit like the website requested. Okay. But um, the state employees then decided that what I was doing, she, she told me that what I was doing was against state law. A state employee told me that I was breaking a state law and, and, and pointed to a, a laminated pink sign that she had made that said no cell phone. Okay. Which, so would, sir, would you mind it if we just moved down that way a little way so we're not interfering with what they're doing here? Um, if you don't want them to hear this, that's fine. Let's go ahead. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm yeah. just talking right like down. Yeah, yeah. And, and plus, you know, um, let, let's make sure that traffic can get in and out. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate too. Uh, my wife's best friend. Uh, her husband is the police chief in Carlisle, you know, and um, Bree, the, my, his wife, uh, her one of her besties works in the treasurer's office. She was coming back from her lunch break and saw me, you know, being 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 uh, uh, well, whatever she saw, she saw, you know, and was calling what is going on. My wife's in tears, you know, she was scared that I was going to get hurt doing this that I was going to get hurt exer peacefully exercising a constitutional right. And uh, she was right. She was right. I did get hurt. This is, uh, I've asked around, talked to people. 
you need to contact the county attorney's office mm -hmm. by phone mm -hmm. to start the process for the Freedom of Information Act to get the videos or whatever footage, that, mm -hmm. whatever other things that you want. What, what, where, so which office do I do I file it? I want to go file it in person. Uh, they told me there's nobody in the office right now. They're all out. It says you need to start on the phone. You know, probably the only person up there. They'll set up an appointment. Okay. Set up appointment. Okay. I don't. All right, guys. Um, you can let them know that I'm going to contact my attorney now That'd because be because if That'd you be guys good. are trying to stonewall this. And it seems you that you asked, are. You asked for something, I gave it to you. That's all. Uh, yeah, you know. but I can. But but that that request but telling me that there's nobody in the. Did you guys close public services because I was here? Public services. Yeah, the, 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 the a Freedom of Information Act request, an open records request, is a, is is a public service that I'm, I'm well, I have a right to. The county attorney's office right now. The attorneys are all out doing stuff. They don't just have someone there. Mm -hmm. But but the, a clerk for. can process this. A Pardon? clerk can process this. A, a clerk can process an open record. Okay, which clerk do I go to to process an open records request? Which clerk in this building do I go to? You go to the civil division of the Polk County Attorney's Office, and that's where that happens at. And it's not that they're not going to do it, but right now they don't have anybody to do it. So, any clerk can process the request. It just has to be put into the. And it has to be put into the computer. Report, but not here. We don't have a clerk record in here. Okay, so where, so I need to go to the to the to the county clerk. Uh, if that's what you feel is the proper thing to do, but yeah, and that's where there is always people there. Where's the county clerk? Well, that would be in the Polk County Courthouse. The Polk old, County Courthouse. Or, Thank or you. Or the Justice Center above there. Okay, so I will go to the Polk County Courthouse and I will file my open records request yeah. there, and I will, um, yeah, um, I guess wait to hear from your risk management team or my lawyer okay. All right. I now take you to when he claims he was going for x-rays for his poor broken and dislocated shoulder well folks I'm currently uh, chilling at the urgent care where uh, they're getting ready to run some x-rays on my shoulder uh, security guards downtown at the uh, uh, Polk County Treasurer's Office um, threw me to the ground for recording in public and uh, tore something in my shoulder. Um, definitely going to be some some litigation. Uh, definitely going to be a lawsuit, and uh, uh, definitely going to be some accountability. I'm going to have to get down to the magistrate's office and show them the video so that um, we can get some we can get some charges filed. This isn't this isn't all right, you know. Um, the people have a First Amendment right to film in public, and if you don't like it, that's too bad. Actually, people do not have a right to film in a non-public forum, which is where he was, that chooses to restrict the right to film, which they did. He was not in a traditional public forum, and if you don't like that, that's too bad. Go to a park and order the squirrels, but try not to get bit. However, if you do get bit, you can always file a lawsuit against them, as you probably have a better chance of winning that than you do with this stupid lawsuit you're about to file. Uh, you don't get to just put your hands on folks. You know, you don't get to just throw a journalist to the ground, rip their shoulder open, you know, because uh, you don't like them holding the camera. Oh, how I wish he'd stop with the dramatic lying. Let's say they did rip his shoulder open. It wasn't because they didn't like him holding a camera. It was because he refused to leave when they told him to. There's a big difference there, buddy. You know, um, and uh, the, the responding police officer that refused me medical attention, oh, he's going to be held accountable as well. Um, and uh, uh, I got injured as a result of uh, whoever called on me. So, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're liable. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is tonight, y'all are going to see the video uh, that, that led to me having to take myself to urgent care to get help after the police refused to help me because I wouldn't give him my name. He said, I can't be a victim if he doesn't know my name. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, time to end the stupidity here. He did finally submit the records request, and I guess he's waiting for that. Well, we all are. I have a feeling you won't be coming, at least not to us, 
but I could be wrong. I actually hope I'm wrong. It's not that I hope he was really injured. I just hope he's not making this all up for a fake lawsuit. But I'll update you if he posts any relevant updates on his channel. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It's now time to cool down from the Fraudator Zone. The link to the cool down video is right above and the link to my entire new cool down channel is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and hit the like button. Good night.